Hi guys, Ian from footballboots.co.uk here and today we're talking about the X15.1. This is the new Chaos boot from Adidas. The game changer. You're going to see them worn by the likes of Luis Suarez, Gareth Bale, Angel De, Angel De Maria. Now, there's this launch solar yellow version. There's also this black pair. They've got a reflective side to them. You should have seen our unboxing of these on the channel. If you haven't already, go check it out. They're very cool. There's another pair, they're all blue. You'll have seen a few players wearing them. They're exclusive versions, not found for every player. Right, let's get into it. So the X uses this two color design on this launch pair that most of you will have seen. You've seen them in the Champions League final. They've got the X branding on the top here. Then the solar yellow is used in a lot of areas around this tech fit sock here. A lot of the upper is in yellow, lace is yellow. Black details just around the side. On the sole, there's a lot of black mixed in with the yellow again, and it just kind of twists in and out. So that's the color where they've gone with it. There's actually these real little splashes of blue on here, real subtle, you probably won't even notice those, but they are there. Big design feature, check that out, okay? Adidas on the heel, real standout, looks good. Looks good on the uh, the black version as well there. So this is a real nice design feature. Probably my favorite thing about these boots is that logo at the back stands out really nice. You're gonna spot that. Design-wise, thinking about evolution of the F50, probably is a little bit of an upgrade design-wise, but it just depends on personal preference, whether you prefer the look of these or perhaps the old F50s. Definitely these, probably my favorites. Real classic, this is reflective. Very cool boot. All right, I'm gonna throw these on. So throwing these on, got a real snug fit. That's down to this tech fit sock that's at the top here. And that's just gonna lock you really nicely in. Reminds me of putting on um, the prime nips the way that you, you slip these in. It's a pretty narrow fit. That's another thing reminiscent of the F50s. Now the upper itself feels pretty soft. It's very hybrid touch like. It's called X skin. Very much synthetic upper in that same mold though. You've got the wrap of this um, X cage through here, and that feels tight as well. So true to size, kind of lengthwise, but if you've got a, if you've got a wide fitting foot, you might decide you need to go up a size just to, or half a size just to get your foot in here nicely. They are a narrow fitting, narrow fitting boot. So I, I like the, the way that this Tech Fix sock fits around. Your foot really locks you in there, that feels good. There's a nice kind of suede like lining inside, which feels good on your feet too. Let's go ahead and try breaking these in. Now, because they've got this super thin X skin upper, the breaking in these boots is pretty easy. Feel pretty good just putting them on and running around in them. It's pretty soft on the top and it feels pretty good wearing these. Not really feeling like you're gonna have to do too crazy with the break in. One thing to think about is this sole, okay? It's a little stiff at first, but that, that'll that break in pretty nicely as well. So, so don't be afraid to wear these for extended periods in, in training as you're starting to wear them. They're pretty good break in wise. So if you think that these boots actually weigh more than the 2015 F50 Adder Zero and the 2014 Adder Zeros, the one thing that is contributing to that will be the Tech Fit sock that's adding a little bit to it. You've also got the um, X cage, which is a bit of extra material as well. But it's really interesting that you could start to think of these as a speed boot and probably why Adidas haven't really mentioned that a lot in their marketing. They're talking more about the chaos and the game changer because these really aren't a speed boot. They're weighing in at 212 grams, which is over that 200 gram threshold to really be considered a speed boot, we like to think under 200 grams. So that's why a lot of times you're seeing now, these talked about the game changers, the chaos, all of that kind of stuff, because they're not in essence a true speed boot.
So the X skin itself, it feels really nice. It's pretty soft. I quite like the design that they've used across here. Kind of almost has like a woven look to it, even though it most likely isn't. But it's a nice soft synthetic and it feels good on feet. They've used it in the tongue as well here. And it's overall just a real nice upper to be used all over the boot. Feels pretty good. So positioned in the midfoot is this X cage. You can think about it a bit like the Everfit cage on an Evo Speed. It's there to lock your foot in, wrap around. It uses the laces to pull through. It's all connected into the laces and it just wraps the boot really nicely around your foot for a great fit and feel. So this bladed claw stud system has been used on the sole and it means that it's good for firm ground pitches or 3G pitches like these that we're on today. It's a great benefit over something like the F50 or previous Adidas boots where you haven't been able to use them on this rubber crumb type uh, field. So it might be a bit hard for you to pick out here, but on top of the X skin, are these little raised dimples, little dots all the way over it. It's only in the yellow areas of the boots, so all this black bit doesn't have it at all. So just in the yellow area of the boot, it has this, and the idea is it's supposed to improve your control in kind of wet conditions and things like that. Think about Nike's ACC, they're running along a very similar line to that. What difference does it make? It's hard to tell. They've used something very similar on the Messi 10.1 boots. If you would have noticed that on the upper, they're using something similar again. It's just this little raised profile. I don't really feel like it makes a huge amount of difference, but anything that makes any little bit of difference is a bonus, so why not? So the lightweight makeup of the X and the fact that it's got this thin upper means that if you get a stud on here, you're definitely going to feel it. It's not going to be a good thing at all, but that's what you get with lightweight boots. You know what you're getting yourself into, and it's not any different than any of the other top of the line lightweight boots on the market, but you're definitely not getting any protection on the upper here or even in the tongue area from studs and that kind of stuff. If you get a heavy tackle, then you are going to feel it, and that's pretty much what's going to happen. Durability wise, you got to feel like this really nicely made in and around this X cage area here. So you're not going to have any problems, I don't think, with the laces having kind of ripping or pulling through any of this. It's very nicely made X cage, so that's going to stay in place. Very nice. Tech fit sock, it's all kind of double stitched everywhere. It's pretty sturdy. There's one point and one area that I just have a little bit of concern about, and it's just a point of weakness almost. If you see here where the tech fit sock meets in with the tongue, the stitching here. I just wonder whether that's going to be liable over time to rip and separate. And so what you probably need to be careful is you don't pull on it too hard when you're trying to put them on because you might give yourself some issues there. So be aware of that. That's probably the one point of weakness on here. Apart from that, very well constructed boot and durability wise should treat you pretty well. It's designed to be used on um, 3G pitches. So even if you're wearing them there, it's going to be good. So overall pretty durable boot. Just be aware and just take care of your tech fix socks. So overall, my verdict on the X15.1. One of my favorite things about this is probably the tech fit sock, which is a good thing as it's one of the standout features. Just means that it gives a real nice tight wrap around your ankle, nice compression fit, but you're not getting that real extra bit of sock that you don't really need on the Nike um, Dynamic Fit collar boots. So they've just kind of compromised, they've found a middle ground, and this fits pretty nice, it feels a nice snug fit. It's like sliding your foot into a Prime Knit 2.0, you're getting a nice wrap, a nice compression fit. The other good thing is the X cage, it just wraps really nice and tightly around your foot. That's a good little thing. The fact that you can wear them on firm ground and on uh, Astro pitches, 3G pitches, and that's obviously a great bonus as well. So overall, there's a lot of good things to say about these. Design-wise, I'm not a massive fan of this colorway, but there are other colorways that I really do like, so you should be able to find a colorway that suits you. Otherwise, you can hit up my, my Adidas and design your own as well. So negative-wise, you just gotta be a little bit concerned about that durability. Just look after them. That's the only thing you gotta worry about there. Make sure you find a design that you like the look of. They are a little bit heavy for what is in essence probably supposed to be a speed boot. So weight wise, 
The other thing to think about is if you are wide footed, you're probably gonna wanna consider wearing the leather version of these, or maybe you wanna switch and try the, the Ace instead. Another option of the Messi 15.1s. We'll have a review of those coming up sometime soon on the channel. So it's another boot you can consider instead of these. That's another speed boot to be thinking about. Although the Messi's actually weigh more than these, so bear that in mind. Overall, pretty decent change up in the game from Adidas. Is it a revolution? Is it evolution? Is it just another boot? It's probably just another boot. It's a new colorway, new design. A lot of people like the look of them. There'll be a lot of players wearing them. Are you gonna wear them? Let us know in the comments below. So, thanks for watching our review of the X15.1. We've got a lot more reviews, competitions, unboxings, all the kind of football boots, good stuff on the channel. Make sure you're subscribed. As always, I bet you're already subscribed, so thank you very much for that. We just hit 40,000 subscribers, that's a huge number. Thank you very much. Next, we'll be pushing forward for 50,000. So tell your friends, tell your mum, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell your enemies, just tell people. We've got some good stuff on this channel. All right, guys. I'm going to go and play some more football. Go enjoy your football. Thanks for watching.